Today I'm reading The Pomegranate Witch, written by Denise Doyen and illustrated by Eliza Wheeler. The Pomegranate Witch. Beyond the edge of town, where streetlights stopped and sidewalks ended, a small boy spied a farmhouse in a field long untended. And before its sagging porch, amid a weedy foxtail sea, found the scary, legendary, haunted pomegranate tree. The gnarled tree loomed high and wide, its branches scraped the ground. Beneath, there was a fort of sorts, with leafed walls all around. Its unpruned limbs were jungle-like, Dirt ripple snaked with roots, but glorious were the big, red, round, ripe pomegranate fruits. The children whispered secret plans and spoke of desperate measures, delicious dreams of snatching, eating pomegranate treasures. But rarely did they dare because there was a nasty hitch. The tree was owned and guarded by the pomegranate witch. The pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate witch. No one could see her clearly amid the dark and shadowed nooks. Still, Lore and Pinkies swore the dreadful rumors of her looks. Gossip painted her hands green with twiggy fingers made to scratch. And hearsay said, her blood red eyes stared through the thicker thatch. When new kids, disbelievers, crept up close to listen look, they'd hear a witch cackle, he he he, as branches shiver shook. And when her raven screamed, hi ha, those kids would run in fear. And yet the brave kept wandering back. The tree was like a thirst. Forbidden fruit is tempting. Pomegranates are the worst. First one, then three, then five courageous souls rose to the test, and thus each autumn's pomegranate gang began their quest. Some clever gangster pranksters dug a foxhole in the field. When they peered below the leaves, witchy work boots were revealed. Next, they scavenged broken rackets, rusty rakes, a dead tree limb, what better tools to yank a pomegranate from its stem? The witch watched on, a veteran of siege and kinder battle. She'd seen such cardboard lean-tos, and she'd heard their rackets rattle. She knew that soon the gung-ho gang could simply wait no more. So switcheroo, the witch declared the pomegranate war. The pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate war. Now hear this, pomegranate gang, I see you in your ditch. High noon, tomorrow, double dared the pomegranate witch. Shocked and scared, caught by surprise, the gang froze, firmly rooted. Then one, then three, then five stood tall, and all of them saluted. The pomegranate war was on. The troops made preparation. They plotted how to storm a tree in fruit assault formation. At noon, the watchbird called, hey yo! The players took their places. The witch, she hunkered down. The gang spread out at 20 paces. Charge! The gang dashed forward in a speedy, greedy race. The fastest within reach got blasted splash right in the face. Water cannons rushing, gushing from a dozen hoses. Wound throughout, the spouts washed into eyes and shot up noses. They couldn't see, they couldn't breathe. Retreat was wet and muddy. Still coughing, someone spluttered. Go, go, grab your bike, your rake, your buddy. In caravan, the gang embarked on plan B as agreed. And pedaling down the potholed street, the raiders picked up speed. 
Then buckets of black walnuts spilled. The witch low-pitched them out. As hard as marbles, scatter shot, they rolled and bounced about. Then bowled right under, bump, bump, bump. The wheels could not be steered. The riders jumped, their drivers stumped. Bikes toppled, wagons veered. They chucked their vanquished chariots, regrouped and reattacked. The big kids held up trash can shields. The small rode piggyback. Worn sneakers shuffled through the nuts. Tin armor took the spray. High, eager hands reached up to where the pomegranates swayed. The tree, enchanted tree, it sprang to life with thrashing might. The branches walloped, whacked and slapped. The leaves put up a fight. The pomegranates danced away from clasping, grasping fingers. Bushwhacked, the palm marauders fled. But one small robber lingered. For a while, the witch pulled on the strings and played mad puppeteer. A sneak thief tiptoed through the gate and crept around the rear. He grabbed a fruit and twisted, jerked and tugged a dozen tries. Then snap, off he skedaddled with his pomegranate prize. His pomegranate, pomegranate, pomegranate prize. I got one, yelled the sneak thief, and the foxhole gave a hoot. A rusty hammer cracked the husk. The gang split up the loot. Six hundred sparkling seeds and papery slips kids ripped apart. Hip, hip, hooray, they'd won the day. The juice was sweet and tart. A muffled laugh, the scuffle passed. Things might have ended there. For late that night, her harvest plucked the tree completely bare. But neighborhoods have secrets, passed from year to ear to hear. There was one magic evening she was sure to disappear. On Halloween, the witch flew off. She ventured far away to haunt with ghosts and jaunt with bats until the break of day. And when she left, a kind insider hid away no more. Each Hallow's Eve, the children knew who'd open up the door. The kindly lady, out she'd come. She'd sing and weave the path. And no one blamed the shy soul for her sister's greed and wrath. For when the witch was home, she kept the farmhouse dark and scary. And when the kindly lady reigned, the porch was lit and merry. Her jack-o'-lanterns showed the way with jolly square-toothed smiles. She welcomed trick-or-treaters. Have some cider, stay a while. She showed them her pet peacock, lovely feathers blue and green. And then the kids and lady toasted. Happy Halloween. Oh dear, the kindly lady gasped and pointed toward the moon. I saw the witch's shadow pass. You'd best be off now soon. They swilled sweet dregs of cider. Then the children grabbed their sacks. She gave them each a feather, made them promise to come back. And last, the kindly lady shared the best treat on the planet. In every bag, she dropped a big, red, round, ripe pomegranate. Good night, she called. I'll not see you till Halloween next year. They left her sweeping up. The sneak thief wiped a parting tear. They skipped out past the haunted tree, its branches still and spent. It slept the night, sisters switched. That's how the story went. And not one child wondered who was who or which was which, the shy old kindly lady or the pomegranate witch. The pomegranate. Pomegranate, pomegranate witch. The end. Thanks for reading with us.